Hi, I'm Dr. Amy Myers. I'm a New York Times bestselling author and the founder and medical director of Austin Ultra Health. And today I'm going to be taking a deep dive into histamine intolerance. Now this is something I know from personal experience and it can be really confusing and frustrating because the symptoms can seem to come out of absolutely nowhere. For me, I kept getting terrible migraine headaches out of the blue and I could not pinpoint how. However, once you do pinpoint that histamine intolerance is the source of your symptoms, you can make smart dietary choices to minimize your symptoms while you work at addressing the underlying cause of the imbalance. Now in this video, I'll be covering what is histamine intolerance, how do you know if you have it, what causes it, and most importantly, the steps that you can take to overcome it. So what is histamine? Histamine is a chemical involved in your immune system. It's in your digestive tract and even your central nervous system. It's actually a neurotransmitter that relays messages from your body to your brain. Now histamine causes an immediate inflammatory response. It's the red flag of your immune system. It helps to dilate blood vessels so that the white blood cells can get in. It's also a component of stomach acid. Histamine gets released when we have those allergic reactions. So likely you've heard of antihistamine medications for seasonal allergies. What happens is an allergen comes, histamine gets released, and then we have itching, sneezing, runny nose, watery eyes. That's all your friend, Mr. Histamine. And antihistamines, on the other hand, help prevent histamines from attaching to your cells. They typically contain enzymes that help to break down histamine. And if you don't break down histamine, then it leads to a buildup and that is where an intolerance can develop. Now, histamine can travel throughout your bloodstream and it can affect virtually every aspect of your body, from your gut, to your lungs, to your skin, to your brain, to your cardiovascular system. So it can be so difficult often to pinpoint. What are some signs of histamine intolerance? As I mentioned, I myself had headaches. Headaches can be a sign hives, flushing, itching, swelling, nasal congestion, sneezing, difficulty breathing, fatigue, difficulty falling asleep, anxiety, hypertension, dizziness, a fast heart rate, or even an arrhythmia, difficulty regulating your body temperature, nausea, vomiting, abdominal cramps, and even abnormal menstrual cycles. So you can see it can be very difficult to pinpoint. Now, what causes histamine intolerance? Remember, there's an enzyme that should be breaking down histamine. So I often see histamine intolerance being one of three scenarios. One, you could have too much histamine, likely from eating too high a histamine foods or from an allergic exposure. The other is that you're not breaking down your histamine. You don't have enough of the enzyme so you're not able to break down the histamine that you have, whether if it's a lot of histamine or it's a little bit of histamine. Or you could have the double whammy. You could have a combination of both of the above. You're making too much histamine because you're having an allergic response or you're eating foods too high in histamine, and you could have difficulty with your enzymes. They couldn't be working correctly, and you're not breaking it down. That's the double whammy. And that's what I was experiencing. So it's the buildup of histamine that really matters. So let's go through some top causes. Number one is that I see are allergies or IgE reactions, whether that's to a food or something in your environment, whether it's toxic mold to molds and allergens and pollens and grasses outside, or even your dog or cat, or you could be eating a diet high in histamines. You know, in fact, many people following a paleo diet and even an AIP diet, many of the foods approved on those diets are actually high in histamine. Now, if you have SIBO, this is a number one cause that I see in my clinic and what was happening to me. SIBO, when you have small intestinal bacterial overgrowth, the gut microbiome gets disrupted including those enzymes that help to break down histamine. And then you're not able to break down histamine very well. And in addition, those bacteria in your gut in SIBO can actually produce histamine as well. So it's a double whammy. But for many people, healing the SIBO, 
heals your histamine intolerance. And then you could be a person who has a deficiency in the enzyme. It's called DAO or diamine oxidase is the enzyme that actually breaks down histamine. So what can cause low DAO? Gluten intolerance, leaky gut, SIBO, sounds like it's a triple whammy, DAO blocking foods, genetic mutations, which are commonly found in people of Asian descent. Inflammatory conditions like Crohn's, ulcerative colitis, and IBD can affect your DAO. And even certain medications like ibuprofen and aspirin, certain antidepressants like Prozac and Zoloft, immune modulators like Humira, Embril, and Plaquenil. How many autoimmune patients are on those medications? Antiarrhythmics like propranolol, metoprolol, cardazepam. Antihistamines themselves can block DAO. Allegra, Zyrtec, Benadryl, and even histamine blockers themselves like Tegament, Pepsid, Zantac. So how many people are on these medications because they feel that they have a histamine intolerance or they don't even know, but they're trying to relieve their allergy symptoms. And then they go on a drug that actually blocks the main enzyme that they need. So how do you treat histamine intolerance? <clears throat> Well, for immediate relief, you want to remove foods that are contributing to histamine intolerance. For a full list of these foods, you can head over to my website, amymyersmd.com. You want to minimize these foods, and there anything that's fermented, sauerkraut, kombucha, yogurt, beer, and wine, vinegar-containing foods, pickles, mayo, olives, these are high in histamines, soured foods, sour cream, sour bread, buttermilk, Diets high in certain types of dry foods like apricots, prunes, figs, raisins. Most citrus foods contain a lot of histamines. Aged cheeses, including goat's cheese. Certain nuts like walnuts and cashews, and even certain vegetables like eggplant and spinach. You'll also want to minimize foods that actually release histamines. Alcohol, bananas, chocolate, cow's milk, nuts, papaya, pineapple, shellfish, strawberries, tomatoes, wheat germs, and many artificial preservatives and dyes. And you'll want to minimize the foods that actually block that crucial enzyme, DAO. Alcohol, energy drinks, black tea, mate tea, and green tea. The next thing you'll want to do, besides avoiding the high histamine foods, or of course, if you're having a high histamine reaction to an outdoor allergen or an indoor allergen, you'll want to remove that from your environment, if at all possible. The next thing you'll want to do is to add in a DAO supplement that will help you to break down the histamines. The one that I carry in my store, Histazyme. I carried this around with me for about two months straight and wouldn't eat a single meal without taking it. And let me tell you, it was a total lifesaver and it really works. So this is really great for immediate relief is to actually take DAO or Histazyme that will help you break down the histamine. And of course, like always, you want to address the root cause. So you want to figure out why you have histamine intolerance in the first place. One of the first and main reasons that I see that people have histamine intolerance is they're either suffering from SIBO or leaky gut. So you'll want to make sure that you're following my 4R program in order to heal your gut and recover from these infections. For long-term relief, you'll want to address the underlying cause of your histamine intolerance. If you're somebody who's taking a medication that's interfering with your DAO, then you'll want to speak with your physician looking to address the root cause or switching to a safer alternative. I hope this video has helped clear up the mystery surrounding histamine intolerance so that you can get to the root of your own symptoms. And if you're ready to learn more about gut health, make sure you're on my newsletter so that you can enjoy free videos, articles, and recipes every week delivered straight to your inbox. Just head over to gutrecipes.com and sign up and you'll get 35 amazingly delicious recipes to help you repair your gut delivered straight to your inbox. Mm -hmm.